In this video, I'm going to show you how you can repair your Linux system if your home folder becomes corrupt from installing some software on your uh, system or just if your home folder comes corrupt in general. Now, a couple days ago from the time I'm making this video, I installed Ocular, the PDF viewer from the Snap Store, and when I closed the, the program, I had desktop folder uh, folders and files all over my desktop. And so I looked online and I found a solution. It fixed it until I rebooted my system and then they came back. So it took me a while, but I figured out how to fix it. And I thought this would make a great YouTube video. And so if you found the video on YouTube, I will have to uh, provide the link to the steps that I did to fix mine. Now I do have three links that I used and I'm going to give credit for those. Uh, here's the first website that I looked up and found where it says Ocular breaking the home directory links. I kind of did what uh, was on this website along with what's on this website where it says home folders icons shown on the desktop. I went through here and I did these steps here but then after I rebooted the problem came back so it took me a few extra steps to do that's on this website where it says home user desktop public folder sh shown a hyperlink which is broken uh, as you can see here this was created or it was asked five months ago it's modified one month ago and it's seen over two thousand times and one thing I noticed in common with these it was they say the only change they made to their system was they installed ocular via the snap on the Ubuntu software and I thought that's what I did that's where this person did that said ocular was breaking it so let me show you how you can fix this if ocular or another piece of software messes up the folders in your home folder now as you can see here this is not my image I didn't take screenshots of all the icons on my desktop and also I didn't take screenshots of the corrupt folders I fixed it and then I realized well I should have took screenshots uh, to fix those but that's what they look like my icons are a little bit different colors but the two folders that were corrupt had the X looks like an error with it makes it like a sim link and they were locked so the first thing you need to do is remove the software that you know that caused the problem so I uninstalled ocular the next step you need to do is to re delete the folders that became corrupt so in this case this individual would have needed to delete the videos the templates the publics and the music folder in my case I go to my home folder and it opens up into my home folder this was the folder that was corrupt desktop and this was the folder that was corrupt which was my public and as you can see here it says zero items in there and zero items in there and that's one reason why they become corrupt and actually there are some items in there and that's the one of the solutions to fixing it and there are some items here they're just not showing up on my desktop so what you need to do is to remove the corrupt fo folders on your system then after you remove the folders you're going to rename or recreate them you can right click and say create folders type the exact name of the folder that was originally cr created there uh, that became corrupt so I put desktop back with a capital D and then lowercase letters for the rest of the word and same thing with public so as you can see here I show to remove those and then once you remove those you're going to rename them and I just use you can use the command make directory to create those directories in your terminal or you can just do it the way I showed you by right clicking in there and saying create folders so make sure that you recreate the names of the folders that became corrupt and once you do that this is the file that became corrupt on the system, which is the user dash ders dash ders. So you're going to use a text editor and you're going to open that particular file and you're going to edit it and make some changes. So let me open up my terminal and I'm going to enter that command. And you don't need sudo privileges. So you press the home key or the enter key uh, to open up that folder that's in your home folder. And this is the file user dash ders dot ders now originally that desktop was gone from my system it looked like uh, this right here my desktop was assigned as my home folder and my public share folder was also assigned as my home folder so since the desktop was assigned as the home folder the home folder is basically this what you see here so since the desktop was assigned as the home folder every home fo folder and every file that you see down here was placed on my desktop so in order to fix that problem you have to retype those back in there so I type desktop for this one that would just had associated it as home and then I typed in public for this one and as you can see here I do have desktop back so you just simply type that back in there and type public hit save button and then close it out and if it doesn't show any if it doesn't repair it instantly you need to either log out or reboot and come back into the system now I did that and it fixed it temporarily 
because eventually when I shut my system off and cut it back on, they came back. And I thought, well, that was just a temporary fix. So I had to go back into that file and put desktop back and public back. And I thought, what in the world is causing the problem? And someone from this website mentioned that they had to hide a folder, a file into those folders to prevent them from being deleted, the empty folders from being deleted. Uh, from being deleted so what I did was I went into each of these folders the public folder and if you go to view and say showed in hidden files as you can see here I have a just a random sample text file you can leave it blank I just put this as a sample text file but what makes this hidden you know when I don't show the hidden files there's it looks it appears that nothing's in this folder as you can see zero items and zero items what makes this particular file hidden is when you name the file you put the period in front of the name of the file that's hidden in there in this case I started it with a dot you can create the file by right clicking say create a document and create an empty file uh, and you, it will create a file here and you just give it a name with a period in front of it so that way when you turn off the show hidden files there will be nothing that shows up in this folder so I just, my sample text here on my desktop it said this is a sample text if I go back up here and turn this off it there's nothing up here on the desktop so the way that you can create a file like I showed you is you can say create document say create an empty file I'm going to put dot f i l e dot t x t that's one way of creating it so when I go to view and turn that off show hidden files it's not there so let me go and show the hidden files I'm going to delete this and another way you can do this on the desktop is I'm going to say open uh, at my terminal as you can see here when I open my terminal it's in that desktop folder you can use the touch command t-o-u-c-h and you can name it whatever you want to name but be sure to start it with a period so in this case I'll say file 2 dot txt and then as you can see here it created a file to in that particular folder now this is going to be an empty file because I didn't put any content in it you don't have to put any content in it so in this particular case here you can create it either using your terminal or you can create the file by using right click say create a file but just be sure to save it with a dot in front of it to make it a hidden file so let me go and turn these files show hidden files back off so when you go out of here and look at those folders it shows zero files or zero items in the folder and zero items in the folder so after I rebooted uh, they didn't come back so I wanted to wait a couple days uh, before I made this video so as you can see here I do have the illustrated steps by showing you how to create a hidden file that you put the dot in front of it or and I should also show you how you can use the touch command and you don't have to right click into that folder you can actually stay within your home folder by using touch home and then replacing in my case my username is Tommy as you can see here you're going to place it with your username desktop or whatever a folder became corrupt and just create any name I just had sample text and sample text you can use anything you want just to make sure it has a dot in front of it and so that fixed the problem and so far it hasn't come back I don't understand how that the snapped ocular program uh, deleted those files it, I know that snaps should be in containers however you can assign different permissions and rights to snap so I don't know if that some permission writes to my home folder and it just deleted empty folders within that but I know that I'm not going to install the ocular version uh, the snap version of ocular anymore I do have ocular on my system and I do have it now as a flat pack and that hasn't caused me any issues with my system so if you're having trouble with your corrupt home folder the issue will be uh, that particular folder that file that I showed you here if you're having a corrupt home folder uh, a lot of times people panic and that they don't find a solution on the internet they'll reformat and reinstall everything and that takes time uh, when I first started using Linux when I would screw up I would always back up everything and then I would if I screwed up something I would wipe it out and put it back on there but the more you begin to learn about Linux when you do mess up something you get to where you don't panic that's the first thing is you don't panic there's if something messed it up there's a solution out there to unmess it to repair that problem so that's using commands within the terminal and like I said you don't have to use the terminal you can actually do that within your file manager so if you're not familiar with the terminal and hopefully in the next several weeks I can start making some videos to show you how to use some simple commands within the terminal to repair things so that if you're a new user to Linux you can know how to 
be familiar with the terminal to repair your Linux system if your Linux system does mess up. So hopefully this video has helped someone and have a great day.